Hi, Steve Lockhart here from learnmassage.com.au. Now the following video is part of my full SLM bodywork professional training program and it's aimed at helping body workers and massage therapists get better results in their clinic when they're treating pain and injuries. Now I've got lots of these videos going up on my channel so please subscribe by clicking on the link in the bottom left hand corner and you'll get notified when any new videos get posted. I hope you enjoy the content and get something out of it. Thanks a lot. Now, so I'll be start on this side for you. Now the reason I got you to do two broom handles is mainly for the erector muscles because when we do the erectors, you know, the, the way in the normal video is using your thumbs this way and doing that sort of vigorous cross fibre work. But, you know, if you haven't got strong thumbs, that can be quite fatiguing and, and getting that pressure can be a little bit difficult. So what I've started doing was, if, you, if you've got a broom handle that you can hold in both hands, like that, and you, you hold one hand and you just have a flat hand on the other side. Now, trouble is when you use the tall one, what I find is I'm doing this and then the person, <laughs> yeah, the person lifts up to talk to you, bonk, <laughs> and hits their head and sort of, you know, it might get nasty if they, <laughs> but you don't also, down here it's harder to do, you know, like it's harder to get the angles, so that's why if you've got a nice little one, so you can do the, the smaller stuff. And really, you know, with the erectors, those of you who have done this work would know that it's, it's like a cable that, you know, like a ropey cable, right? So you've got that ropiness. So you've actually got a point you can flick over, which is what stimulates the muscle. And whether it's too tight or too loose. You don't have to push your... Just my, I'm not putting very much pressure at all on there, but I'm, you want to be able to feel the muscles being flicked. But it also comes back to, you know, the original comment where, you know, everybody's different. Some people, um, and we'll talk about this more when we go through all the muscles tomorrow, but, you know, some people are extremely tight and sensitive in this area, whereas other people are healthier and looser. And, you know, some people you'll, you go, if you did this one first off, it'd be like too much. And we'll, I'll show you other ways to do that. But You can, you can be very gentle with this if you want, you know, like if you just want to start off and they're a bit sensitive, you can just go very easy or you can just lean a little bit of body weight on there. Some of the broom handles, or well, they all have a, a rounded edge. Don't have it on this one, I've got one in my bag with a rounded edge, but uh, you know the, what I mean, like when you buy them they've got a rounded edge. And I, I actually use that one on a bit of a, like I'll tilt it up so it actually digging in. This is probably a little bit sharp for that, but I'd recommend that if you buy your broom handle, I mean, that you get a nice broom handle in Bunnings all stained and you know, sealed up for you for $7. So if you, if you cut it, cut the short end off where you got the rounded piece because then you can use that, you know, nice and lever it, lever it into the muscle. So if you want to intensify it, all you do is just lever it, levering it a little bit. It really is. <laughs> yeah, no, it's too broad. Yeah, it's, it really is too thick. I mean, these are perfect, so for the sake of seven bucks, you may as well get, you know, splash out and get the best tool. <laughs> it's not like you've got a lot of overheads for this. The physios buy their $20,000 ultrasound machine and we get our $7 broom pan. So you just need to change the whichever end you're holding, whichever end you're working. But like I say, it's really not a lot of effort for you. When you come up up to the uh, shoulder, I just put my weight down, like pressure on there, and you can just lever it, okay, to get some compression. And of course, you've all felt, you know, the lumpy rhomboids one here, and usually we just use straight holding pressure there, just rolling it towards the edge of that <coughs> scapula. 
you want that area to be fairly smooth, but you can still, you know, you can still use your your point of your broom handle in that upper back. Yes. Yeah, if you try to do this with oil, you just slip and slide. You won't get that traction. <laughs> That's because the rolling pin's got no, um, it's got the dry timber. Yeah, it just soaks the oil up. Now, if your friend comes over and, and says to you, oh, my back's really stiff, you know, can you do anything for me or, what was that? Or your, your, your partner or whoever, and you're like me, you've got a good movie you want to watch and you can just do this while you're watching your movie, you know. But most of the time my wife only, when she wants me to loosen the back up, all she wants is this done. She's just, it's all about the spine, you know, it's, it's where a lot of the tension comes and that's where a lot of that double ball technique is so good, you know, because, I mean, if someone's got a pelvis problem where their leg's short or they're rotating the pelvis, obviously the double ball technique is, the effect is minimum, but um, for a lot of people, you know, a lot of that headache or aching back or low energy and all those sort of symptoms just come because their erectors are all too tight. Yeah, well this is the start, right? We, we do a few different ways, but so you start off with that. I just wanted to do both sides for him so he didn't feel too bad after, if I just do one side. Yeah, he'd yeah, be walking around in circles. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> so then, when you're doing the the uh, compression, because you remember we do, we've got the other technique where you you know hold your thumb there and you can do compressions, and although that's not so taxing, and you can still you know you might find that's easy enough, doing it with this is is a lot easier because you literally you just lean your body and just do a little bit of a bounce sometimes people will have very little muscle through that kind of area though so can't do it yeah it's not the same I mean the usually someone like that the elbow you know while you're doing a massage just coming up with the elbow and it doesn't have to be hard it's just I mean, you're trying to you're trying to get this muscle to fight you. You know, if it's if it's locked here, then the pressure is only all the pressure you need is to get it to to contract against you, because that's what it naturally will attempt to do. It'll contract against you to fight you. So if you can get it to do that, you're actually teaching it how to contract and release again, because it's not if it's like that, it's not doing that anymore and then you're going to squeeze it past where it's up to in a little bit and then eventually it's going to start to really you know open up so some people you know just the slightest pressure will be like oh, oh, it feels like they're getting kicked in the back so it depends on the body you're working on and how much pressure you need to apply but you're just trying to get this muscle to react and wake up and even though you can loosen it up you know really well with this sort of thing you would still you would still do your elbow sweep because although this gets the muscle working nothing lengthens it like that you know that that 
lengthening the muscle is something that I would recommend you do with every single person you ever treat. It's really important and it'll make such a difference if you do it. Yeah, getting that, bring your elbow in and, and doing the lengthening right through the whole muscle, the whole length. But loosening it up first using this sort of technique will make that a lot easier. Like if you try and do that when they're all locked up, it'll be really painful. They'll sort of you know, react and back up against you. And I'm sort of working like my weight's falling that way, not straight down, because you're not, you don't want to be down on the spine as much, so you're on a bit of an angle. And you're coming in from the side of the muscle. So you're doing it. So you the side and lower the up, lower that. So down, right down here? No. Nah. I mean, I would tend to do that with elbow right. if I wanted to to sort of loosen that, I might just, I just lean there for a moment with my elbow. It's a bit of a combination of, you know, broom handle and elbow. But probably that way would be better. So when you come up to this area, so then you're picking it up a little bit differently because you can't you can't come across here because you've got the blade here to worry about. So you've got to come around this way, and you can get in, roll it in, get it in behind the muscle, and again, and you get some nice release stuff sometimes when you're doing that. Okay, so then you come in, open the hand up, and that's when you do some levering. And I'm using you know, the bigger broom handle for this bit because I get better leverage on it, like with the hand out here. And you, you haven't got that problem where you're knocking them on the head. The same in there. And, you know, even pressure on that upper trap neck, you don't want to, don't push past that centre line, of course, but just levering in to get some pressure because sometimes the thumb work in there can be very fatiguing on the thumbs and difficult. And some people can get so tight up here it's it's really hard. Okay, so it's just doing some work through there. Well I hope you got some good information from that video and there's a lot more coming. So please don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link in the bottom left hand corner of this video and in the meantime, check out my website learnmassage.com.au and pick up a free copy of the book How to Fix Pain Using Massage and Bodywork. And I'll speak to you again soon.